obviously the, the 29 this tackle sort of stick out like a sort of thumb. You guys have done a pretty good job of, uh, against Virginia. When you went back and looked at the film, what did you see that wasn't happening on those plays? Uh, the two biggest things, um, you know, is, is technique and pad level. There were several times, you know, unchar uncharacteristically this year, um, you know, we, we were way too high in our pad level, and especially uh, against a big back, but it, it doesn't matter what back you're tackling. If you tackle around the shoulder pads, it's going to be hard to, to get them down. Uh, and then times where I thought we just, we stopped our feet, especially in the hole. There's multiple times where we have a player, um, you know, a player for a player in, in the gap, and if we just run our feet, uh, we end up, you know, with a zero yard gain. Unfortunately, that did not happen when they were able to spin out or, or make us miss maybe in a hole. And, Gain, you know, seven, seven to eight yards per pop. So uh, those two things, uh, without a doubt, were the were the main main cause for missed tackles. And I guess with, with DJ, uh, he's a kid, young kid, sophomore, and you guys really like him. But to have those two plays where he gets up a touchdown, the first kind of touchdown, how do you kind of rebuild your confidence? Where do you guys go with him from here? Technique, fundamentals, and technique. Uh, you know. These games, uh, obviously, we've had some tough losses. Uh, you know, the biggest thing that, that that continues to show up is is a lack of focus for 60 minutes. As far as our, in my opinion, as far as our technique and fundamentals, neither play uh, would have been a, a heroic effort on his part if, if uh, he trusts his fundamentals and, and trusts his technique. I think both of those plays were defended. So, uh, you know. Don't, you know, don't flinch, don't panic. We're still going to need them. We still have a lot of football left to play. Uh, and, and just trust your technique. Uh, after everything you've done, was there any thought that maybe you should be a shot over to the weak side of the system being a more free and kind of the inside of the team being a more free and kind of the maybe a lot of San Francisco that didn't know before shot? Or was that not even an option? I, I, I thought uh, Ryan would go anywhere. Job. If he was struggling, maybe that's something that we could have maybe discussed. But I mean, he went in there, he played 31 snaps. Uh, we had him down, you know, finding his way uh, around the ball 10 times, either, uh, you know, from assist or a, a solo tackle. There's some plays I'm sure, just like every kid that walked on that field would like to have back. Uh, but I mean, I tip my hat to that kid. If he was struggling, maybe that's something that we would have talked about. But he really did a fine job for us, and, and, and my hat's off to him. I thought he played well, uh, you know. It's one of those deals where his number was called, and I thought he, he answered it. Your thoughts just on the, on the pass rush? You guys got three sacks and sort of creating negative plays. Uh, I think it's a big part of what you guys do. Where's where's that in your mind after this game? I, I, I think our pass rush has been has been pretty good. I mean, it, to me, that had no results on the game. I thought. It comes down to stopping the run, which this defense is predicated on, and not allowing explosive passes for touchdowns. And we did not do a good job in any one of those categories. And, um, you know, to me, those, those were the two biggest things to come out of this week. Uh, Georgia Tech had those two eight minute drives in the second half. Uh, aside from the poor tackling that, that we've addressed, was there anything else that stood out on those drives as to, you know, why the defense couldn't get off the field? Yeah, uh, missed assignments. I mean, ironically, we had the same exact pressure call versus the same exact run in the first half when we tackled for a half a yard loss. Uh, third and nine, I think it was, backed up that we end up not running the, the pressure the proper way and it ends up spitting for, you know, they're trying to punt the ball. They're third and nine backed up and uh, ends up popping for 14 yards or whatever it was. So, uh, you know, once again, attention to detail. Attention to detail. Uh, we, we have to improve it across the board. Manny mentioned, um, going back to the missed tackles, you mentioned that there was some sort of discipline structure in place for the missed tackles. What was done to address that and how you want to address it moving forward? Well, it's something that we do every week. Uh, you know, on, on Sundays, it's, it wasn't specific just to this game because we'd happen to miss more. Uh, you know, but it, it's really just a tackling drill. Um, you know, and, and we'll continue. Like I said, it's something we've prided ourselves on. Uh, for, for a long time around here, but a long time as, as defensive coaches. And it's the same technique we've taught together for the last 10 years. And for whatever reason, uh, you know, we, did, we didn't execute. So, um, you know, as far as, as 
you know, coaches, we have to teach it better. It is the bottom line. We have to teach the technique better and, and harp on it more because what happens Saturday is, is not our standard. Hey Blake, as an extension of that, it's kind of like really been a recurring theme the whole year. Um, you had to come in here and pretty much say the same thing several weeks. Uh, how do you put your finger on like why it's happening? I mean, you know, we, we, we see practice, you guys drill fundamentals pretty much every day. The tackling drills, you know, the things like that. I'm, I'm sure all the different techniques and, and things are drilled every day. Where's the disconnect and, 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 and how do you change that? And I, you know, I guess I assume as coaches, you probably own it, you know? Right, I mean, that's w without a doubt the most frustrating thing, you know? One week we're great at tackling, the next week we're not, or whatever the case may be, just attention to detail. And as coaches, to me, we just have to continue to press on. Um, you know, we're not going to relent. We're going to trust what we're teaching. Like I said, it's worked for a long time, uh, and we have to, to continue to harp on it to make it more consistent. I think they present a lot of problems. They're, uh, they're diverse formationally. They're uh, diverse from a, from a personnel standpoint. I think their quarterback has a really strong arm, uh, can make, make any throw on the field. I think, uh, you know, same thing. They have a bigger back. You know, we're going to face a bigger back once again. And uh, I think all their receivers are, are all really good players. So uh, probably top to bottom, probably if not the strongest, one of the strongest offensive lines we're going to face uh, up to this point. So uh, I think they're they're very good structurally. Um, you know, they don't beat themselves a lot. They're, they're, they're not a team that uh, you see a lot of missed assignments. You can tell they're well coached. So we'll, we'll have our hands full. Thank you, Coach.